In Activity 10, The Sun Rises and Sets, students discuss what is meant by sunrise and sunset. They first model the rotation of Earth and identify rotation as the cause of sunrise and sunset. Finally, they infer from shadow changes that the sun appears to move across the sky. You will need the following materials from the kit. Activity Sheet 10, yellow adhesive dots, D-cell batteries, and a flashlight. You will also need to provide day sky and night sky charts from Activity 2, and a globe. To prepare for the activity, make a copy of Activity Sheet 10 for each student. Insert the batteries in the flashlight. Clear an area in the classroom where students can role play the rotation of Earth. To begin the activity, remind students that in the last activity, they traced their shadows outdoors. Recall that the light came from the sun and that the sun is a star. Point out that the shadows they traced were made when their bodies blocked light from the sun. Discuss how the shadows changed size, shape, and position as the sun moved across the sky. Then ask students, what does sunrise mean? When is sunrise? Tell students that when something rises, it moves up. Sunrise is when the sun first appears in the sky in the morning and daylight hours begin. Now ask, what does sunset mean? When is sunset? Sunset is when the sun disappears from the sky in the evening and nighttime hours begin. Students probably have noticed that the sun appears to move across the sky. Next, ask students, where do you think the sun is at night? They may simply say that the sun goes down, it hides behind the clouds, trees, or buildings, or it sinks into the ocean. Accept all answers. Ask, why do you think the sun rises and sets? Some students may have heard that Earth moves around the sun and that it spins. Turn out the classroom lights. Have students stand facing you while you stand at one end of the room, shining a flashlight toward the students. Then, tell them to turn slowly in the same direction until their backs are to you, and then stop and ask, can you see the flashlight now? Students will say they cannot. Lead students to understand that light has stayed in the same place, but they can no longer see it because they have moved. Now, tell students to imagine that the flashlight is the sun and that they are the earth. Repeat the activity and ask, has the sun moved or has earth moved? Students should acknowledge that the earth has moved and the sun has not. Tell students that earth is constantly turning round and round like a top spinning. We don't feel the movement because we are moving along with earth. Explain that the turning of the earth causes sunrise and sunset. Invite students to turn around slowly again and to call out when they first see the flashlight in their rotation. When the flashlight can first be seen, that is like sunrise. Have them call out again when they can no longer see the flashlight in their rotation. When the flashlight disappears from their view, that is like sunset. Ask students, how long do you think it takes Earth to turn all the way around one time? Some students may know that a full day is 24 hours long and that it takes Earth 24 hours to make one complete rotation. Use the classroom globe to demonstrate what you have just told students. Model the rotation of Earth by slowly spinning the class globe on its axis. Model day and night by shining the flashlight on the globe while spinning it. Mark your location on the globe with a yellow adhesive dot. Darken the room and turn on the flashlight. Position the globe with the tape facing away from the light at the middle of the night position. Then slowly turn the globe counterclockwise and tell students to watch the dot carefully. As the tape nears the sunrise position, the border between night and day, observe what is happening where they are standing. The sun is coming up and day is starting. Continue in this way, inviting students to identify the middle of the day, sunset, 
and nighttime again as you slowly turn the globe relative to the flashlight sun. Because Earth turns counterclockwise, or from west to east, the sun appears to rise in the east and set in the west. Next, display the day sky and night sky charts students made in Activity 2. Ask students, why can't we see the sun in the night sky? Students should be able to infer that at night, the sun is on the opposite side of the earth, out of sight. Give each student a copy of Activity Sheet 10. Have students look at the three pictures. Have students draw the boy's shadow in each picture. Students should recall that a shadow is on the opposite side of an object from the light source, or sun. The lower in the sky the sun is, the longer the shadow. So the morning and afternoon shadows should be longer than the noon shadow. Finally, tell students that in Activity 11, the moon rises and sets, they will learn about another object in the sky that rises and sets, the moon. To conclude the activity, return the flashlight and batteries to the kit. Leave the day sky and night sky charts on display. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the Delta Science Reader, please consult your DSM Teacher's Guide.